Have you built a machine learning model? Have you deployed your machine learning model? If you answered yes and no to the above two questions, then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy your machine learning model using the Gradial Python library. And so without further ado, we're starting right now. And before we begin, thanks to Gradio for sponsoring this video. Okay, so before we get started, and showing you how you could build the image classifier using Gradio. Let's have a look at the Gradio website. And so you can see here that the Gradio library has over 3,000 stars on GitHub. And in the example shown here, you can see some of the examples of application built for the digit classifier, for the Q&A with paragraph, for face segmentation, and also for outbreak forecast. So let's have a look at the image classifier here. And so essentially you could just draw the input and then in real time, you're going to see the output, right? That it's predicted to be one. And we draw number three. We also try to draw number five and it's predicted here. Okay. And so the application, as you see, is very simple. You'll just import the gradial library and then you're defined a custom function for performing the recognition of the digits and so the code is hidden here and so normally you would just put in the actual function statement here and then to create the interface for the gradial application you will use the gr.interface function and then you will need three major input arguments the first one being the name of the function the second one will be the input and then the third one will be the output and then we will launch the application using the dot launch function here. Okay, so let's move further, have a look at the getting started guide. So you're gonna see here that to get started with Gradio, you would just need to install it using pip install. And as mentioned already, you would essentially need to do just three essential part. You need to import the library. You need to define a custom function that will do something to power the application. And so for this one, you're going to create a custom function called greet. And then it will take in the name as the input and it will append hello in front of the name. And then the application here will be created using gr.interface. And then as mentioned already, we need three input argument, right? The first one being the name of the function, which is the greet function here. And then the second is the input and the third is the output. And then we'll launch the application using the dot launch function. And let's type in the name here click on submit, and then you see that it performs the function of greet, right? It'll append hello in front, all right? And then it also shows you a sample of other applications as well, okay? So now let's move on to a infographic cartoon illustration of the typical machine learning model building process. So typically in a nutshell, you'll start with selecting a data set, right? And then you're going to perform data splitting. You're gonna divide it into a training and a testing data set. And then you're gonna use the training set to build a model and then evaluate the model on the testing set. And then typically you're gonna evaluate it for the model performance. And if the model performance is good enough, then you're gonna stop the project, right? The end. However, you don't have to stop the project there. You could perform model interpretation and you could also add value by deploying the model. And so this will allow the end user access to the model that you have built so that they could play around with the model and they could help to figure out what works meaning which features are important for prediction. And they would also be able to help you figure out what breaks the model. Are there a bug in the model? Are there some features that you haven't considered that might improve the model performance? And so you could deploy the model locally or on the cloud. And so in a typical situation, you could use Google Cloud, Azure, or AWS, and also Heroku. And so those would require you to have more technical expertise on the various platform. And you would also need to know Flask or Django in order to create the front end to the application, right? And so if you're working alone and you would like to find an easy way to deploy your model as an application, then Gradio is an easy approach that will allow you to quickly implement a data-driven app and then you could deploy it on platforms such as Gradio Hosted, which is the one developed by Gradio, or the one from Hugging Face called Spaces, okay? And so the model building could be built using Scikit-Learn, TensorFlow, or also PyTorch. Okay, so let's head back to the code. 
And so let me show you the Google Colab or the Jupyter Notebook of the image classifier that we're going to build today. And so at a high level, we're going to take in an image and put it into the Gradio app. And then the app will make a prediction and it will return the animal label name. Okay. So let's say that I upload an image of a lion. Then the application will take the image. It will make a prediction and it will tell us what is the anticipated animal based on the prediction score. Okay. And then it will rank the top three. Okay, so at a high level, we will perform a total of six simple steps in order to build this very simple image classifier app. Okay, so the first step is we're going to install the library. And so you could click on pip install Gradio. Why don't I start it again? Okay, let me start from scratch and I'll clear the outputs. Okay, and let's install it again. Okay, so you could install it easily by pip install Gradio. Okay, so this should take a short moment. All right, and it's installed. And now we're going to download files for the application. And so the first file will be images classifier.zip. And so let me show you what is in the file, not this one. And so this image classifier.zip file will essentially contain the JSON. And so let me show you what's inside. And so it's containing the labels to the animals. And you will see here that there are several in here. And then let me close this. And then we have the images folder, which will contain the image of the cheetah and the lion. Okay. And so it's here in the image classifier .zip. And so let's run it and then we're going to load it and then unzip it. Okay. It's shown here. And now we're going to import the libraries and we have a total of four that we're going to use today. And so it's going to be Gradio, which is the web framework for which we will build the application. And then the TensorFlow will contain the pre-built MobileNet V2 model that we will download from TensorFlow. And then NumPy will be used for pre-processing the input image. And JSON, as mentioned already, is the file format that we will be using to house the labels. And so we're going to use JSON library in order to load the JSON file format. All right, and now we're going to load the MobileNet V2 model. But before that, we load in the ImageNet labels JSON file. And then we're going to load the MobileNet right now which is the MobileNet V2. It is a convolutional neural network and it's pre-trained and we're loading it from TensorFlow. As mentioned here, it's already finished downloading and the model will make a prediction based on the input image, right? It takes in an input image. It will perform the data pre-processing of the image. It will make the prediction in here and then it will assign the prediction and then it will retrieve the labels from the JSON file in order to make the prediction probability for each of the animal labels. All right, and now we will build the web application using the gr.interface function. And so as mentioned already, it will essentially take in three input arguments. The name of the function, which is image classifier, the name of the gr.input and the gr.output. Okay, and so the input will be the image and the output will be the label. And so here we specify that the image dimension will be 224 by 224. And the number of classes to display, we specify here to be five. And then the others are shown here. Capture session, we make it true so that we could take a screenshot of the application using the interpretation function. We'll set here as default. And some example images will be displayed here as well. Okay, so all of this is actually, you could just make it one line, but then we split it into many lines in order to make it more readable. And so we're going to load it up. And then finally, as mentioned here, we save the gr.interface into the iPhase variable. And then now we're going to launch the application, iPhase.launch. All right, and there you go. Six steps. We have launched the application. And so this is the application, right? So let's click on the import of the example image of a cheetah. And then let's click on submit. And now we're going to see the cheetah with the labels of the prediction, right? And cheetah has a predicted probability of 82%. Number two is lion. Number three is no leopard. Okay, so they're related, but the most probability is with cheetah. How about the image of a lion? Let's have a look and click on submit. And we get 94% for the lion. Okay. And we could click on interpret and then you will see that it's trying to interpret from the image which feature allows it to predict that it is the lion and it's the facial feature of the lion. And if you click on screenshot, it will save a screenshot of the app right here. 
Okay, and so you could put this in the reports or you could share it on social media platforms as well. Or you could click on the link here, which will take you to a temporary link. And you could share the link to your friends and colleagues. And they could use this link for under 24 hours because it is a temporary link. However, if you would like to make it more permanent, you have to deploy it. And so in order to deploy the Gradio app, you have two choices right now. is to go to use the Gradio hosted platform, which is provided by Gradio. And another would be the Hugging Face Basis platform. Okay. And so let me show you how you would deploy it on Gradio. Let's go to the Gradio website. And then you could click on Guide and go to Hosting on Hub. Okay. And then you could try out the hosted platform by copying the February promo code. So copy it. Okay. And then you would log in, log into the hosted platform. So normally the link is right here, but I have already logged in. So I'll just click on my models, but for you, you will have to log in. And upon logging in, you put in your promo code here and click on update. The promo code is February. And then you could deploy one application for free. And if you would like to deploy more, then you will have to upgrade. And the upgrade, let's have a look. Um, upgrade will cost $7 a month, okay? But you could definitely try out the platform for free. And here, I've already deployed it a moment earlier. Oh, let's click on the link. All right, let's have a look. Okay, so this is the deployed application. So notice that the link here is gradio.app slash g slash data professor slash image classifier. And so let's see if it works. All right, and it works exactly like the one that we have used on the Google Colab. All right, very cool. And so let me show you now, if you would like to deploy your very own and Gradio hosted, how could you do that? So let's start by stopping this. All right, and it's disappeared. And now we're going to upload our own. So let me go back to GitHub. Let me show you. So you could go to the repository of image classifier right here. And then you could download the entire folder. Click on download zip, okay? And then it will download the entire folder. And then you'll unzip it, and then you'll upload everything here, okay? So you'll create your own repository. So you could go back to the front page and click here, or you could go to repo, go to repo, and then click on new. And then you could just say, um, I'll call it image. Okay, I'll just make, I'll call it image classifier app, okay? And I'll click on add a meet me file, create repository. All right. And then we're going to unzip the file, which we have already done. And then we're just going to accept for read me. And then we're going to import everything in here. Okay. Wait a moment and then commit changes. Okay. And now the app content is in here. And so requirement.txt will contain the name of the library that we will use, which is TensorFlow. And we didn't include Gradio or NumPy because we think that it is standard libraries and sh it should already have it. However, if you would like a specific version of TensorFlow or NumPy, you could include it as well. All right, and now you go back to Gradio, click on Add Repo, and then you want to select the repo called Image Classifier App or the name that you have created for your app. And now it will find the requirement.txt, and then you will display here to click on app.py. And then you want to put in your email here in order to be notified when the container is launched. So it seems to be necessary. Let me launch it now. So this will take quite some time. And I've shown you earlier on how it looks like after it is deployed. And so right now you could just walk away, make a cup of coffee and then come back maybe 10 minutes later and it should be ready. Okay. And the other one is the Hugging Face Spaces platform. Let me show you here. I'll provide you the links in the video description and you could play around with all of the example demo of the applications that others have built all uh, in here. However, let me show the ones that are built from Gradio. So I'll search for Gradio and I'll click on the Gradio organization. And here I'll click on the GPT Neo and let's click on some of the example text here and put submits. All right. The first one, Okay, so it's using text generation, okay, using the GBT Neo, and it is the open source alternative to the GPT-3. All right, let's have a look at the other ones as well. How about Longformer, Q&A? So context is, my name is Wolfgang, and I live in Berlin. The question is, where do I live? Let's submit, and then it says Berlin. 
head on back to the deployment app. Okay, so the app is being deployed and it looks okay. Let me move the image here. Launching image, all right. So it's successfully built, okay. So I guess we could go back to the My Models and we could click on the link here. Oh, okay, it's still launching. Okay, so maybe wait for a couple of more minutes. All right, and so let me show you under the hood, what does the image classifier look like? So in step number four, we've loaded the model net V2. So let me dissect this for you. So here we're gonna run it again and let's use the image classifier function to make a prediction on any other image. So why don't I download an image from Google? Um, what image should I use? Dog? Okay, which dog? How about this dog? Let me click here. Here, save image, download, and then I'll upload it here. I'll put it into the images folder. All right, and it's uploaded. Or how about, yeah, okay, let me rename it to be dog.jpg, and we'll put it here, and then we'll run it. So we're gonna load up the image of the dog. We're gonna set the size to be 224. We're gonna convert it into an array, okay? And let's have a look at the converted form, and the array looks like this. And now we're gonna make a prediction. We're gonna use image classifier function, and the input will be the dog image. And let's make a prediction. Okay, and let's see, where is the dog? Okay, there's several forms of dogs. Let me make it into a data frame. Can I do that? Let me see. So I'll pass in list predictions items. I'll call it columns equal to, what should we call it? Label, label, and then I'll call it score. DF. So it should look like this. And we're gonna do DF dot sort values by score sending equal to true. Let's have a look. Oh, okay, so it's predicted to be a golden retriever. Let's have ascending false. Okay, so the highest score is a golden retriever, and number two is a standard poodle, and number three is a Labrador retriever. Okay, so pretty good. And so this is the pre-built model of image classifier using the MobileNet V2. All right, and so in a nutshell, let me do a recap. And so in this video, we have gone through the Gradio platform and we've talked about how Gradio could make deploying your machine learning model. And so we have covered the essentials of how Gradio could help you to easily deploy your machine learning model. And we looked through at a high level, the importance of model deployment in allowing the user to play around with the model, to understand the data, to understand the model and how you could deploy it to the cloud and how you could use different technology for building your model, such as scikit-learn, TensorFlow, or PyTorch. And we've also gone through the Jupyter Notebook and how you could build the simple image classifier application. And then all of this is done in six step, and then we could deploy it using Jupyter or Google Colab. But then the link that will be generated right here will be temporary right here. And so in order to have a more permanent link to the application, you could use the Gradio hosted platform, which is right here, shown here. And I'd love to hear from you, which machine learning model or deep learning model are you planning to deploy using the Gradio library? And so have fun. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. If you're finding value in the video, please support the channel by smashing the like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and also hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the next video. And as always, the best way to learn data science is to do data science. And please enjoy the journey.